I make a statement or yeah, do they yeah, ask me it, questions? Out, <laughs> uh, got you. Yep. Uh, obviously, you know, a tough one. Uh, my first game as a head coach and, uh, you know, I felt everything from shoot around earlier this afternoon um, to the pregame spill to when the ball went up to all of their runs to all of our mistakes. Uh, it was, you know, been on a, it was like a roller coaster ride. And uh, that's for me personally. As a team, it was too much of a roller coaster ride on the defensive end. We have to be way more consistent on the defensive end than we were tonight. We've been a better team than that defensively in practice, in our scrimmages or exhibitions as well. And uh, I shared with those guys back in the locker room that that defensive effort won't do against the teams that we got coming coming up. And I think to a man, they understand that. And uh, obviously, that's something we have to get a lot better at. Our defensive rebounding has to improve drastically. And guys flat out have to play harder. Uh, we have to be better. And that's our responsibility as a staff to get those guys prepared to play on Friday over the next two days. Our defensive effort, uh, I'm sure he was, I don't know if his TVs are cracked right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if at least one of them were. Uh, watching the amount of threes that we gave up and some of the layups and our inability to keep the ball in front at times, our lack of intensity on the ball. Um, just ball was in the lane too much. You know, we have a an identity on the defensive end that we, just, we, we did not display tonight consistently enough to get the type of separation that we needed from Southern. Um, credit to them. You know, they're, they're a really good team. They'll be competitive in their league. They'll be competitive against other Power 5 schools. But obviously more concerned with our group, we got to be a lot better on the defensive end. And obviously the glass as well, you know, to answer your question even further, like 15 offensive rebounds, there's no way we can give that up. Eight to one guy. That pressure never stopped tonight. Um, do you, how do you think that helps you guys, you know, to start a season with taking that much pressure? Uh, pretty much the entire game. Uh, yeah, well, you know, that's a part of it. I mean, that's why these guys came here. You know, they came here to compete. They, they came here to be a part of tight games and, and you know, uh, play against good competition. And, and we're going to see a lot better competition, you know. So hopefully that fuels our fire and helps us better understand the importance of, of, of bringing our defensive identity with us when the ball goes up on every single possession. If you don't want to be in tight games, do a better job guarding the ball, gapping the ball, keeping it in front, and, and taking care of your backboard. Did you get a good look at Matt Cross's finger? And if so, uh, how did you stomach it? I did not get a good look at it, thank God. It sounds like it was bad. Uh, at halftime, I asked the coaches to find out what was going on with him. Uh, they initially thought that he broke it, but thank God he only uh, dislocated it. and. You know, we're, we're thankful that that's the case because Matt Cross was one guy in particular who I thought did bring the energy on the defensive end. He wasn't perfect, but I thought he did a phenomenal job of, of playing with effort, trying to keep the ball in front. He's not, the, he's not the fleetest of foot, but defense isn't about your feet all the time. It's about what's in here, you know, and he competed. And we need more guys competing like that and bringing that lunch pail mentality to work every day. That was my question about Matt Cross. It looked like he played hard at both ends. He did. And really gave you a lift when he came in uh, both times. He did. He did. Uh, we had some guys uh, not play as well as they played at times throughout the preseason today. Um, you know, you call it first game jitters. You can call it what you want. But the fact of the matter is we got to get more guys playing with that type of effort and intensity. Hey, Mike, in the back. Right here. Uh, Sam looked really confident, offensively patient, and getting some of his shots and attacking. Or what did you think of him tonight? Yeah, I thought Sam was great. I thought Sam played really hard. I thought he ran the floor hard. Um, I thought he tried to do a really good job of getting the ball in the lane. Uh, I thought he was pretty solid defensively. Obviously, had 14 rebounds. That's huge for us. We need everything we can get out of Sam Williamson. That's, that's the type of effort I expect from him. That's the type of effort his teammates expect from him. And he challenges himself every day to have these type of, of uh, performances, and we need more of that going forward. Um, my, M Malik started the two exhibitions. Um, I, we were expecting to see him start, or at least I was. What was it that, that uh, allowed Sydney to start today? Well, Sid had a really good week, to be quite honest. Uh, 
You know, there's a standard that you have to play at every day in practice in order to earn the right to start. We don't just start guys because they're captains or because they've been here the longest. Uh, you have to earn the right to start. And uh, Sid did that a lot better than Malik did this week, so we went with Sid. Yeah, definitely one more. Definitely need a lot more, not only from the starters, but from the guys that came off the bench. Uh, again, I just think it's like, you know, on the defensive end, like how, how much does it mean to you to keep the ball in front? You know, I don't care who you're out there with. You know, I think we got enough good players that everybody's comfortable playing with everybody else. And on defense, we got to be a lot more connected. We got to be, uh, we got to play with a hunger and a passion on the defensive end and on the backboard that we didn't play with consistently enough tonight for my liking. There was a lot of talk uh, leading in that uh, the way you guys were going to play, yeah. players were not going to be able to go for long stretches. Jared ended up playing 30 minutes today. Mm -hmm. Was that by design or he just not hit the wall? Yeah, well, if anybody can go longer stretches, it's Jared West. You know, he, he's in phenomenal physical conditioning. Condition. Um, he finds a way to play really hard and, and play through fatigue. Uh, better than a lot of some of our other guys, most of our other guys. And uh, the intention was not to necessarily play him 30 minutes, but you know, given the situation, we felt like he was doing a really good job running the team and guarding the ball, and we wanted to have him out there a little more. Hey, Mike, in the back. Again, it looked like some of the bigs had, had trouble kind of catching the ball down low and, and really being strong with it. Is that something you pointed out to them with some of those turnovers, and how do they improve on that? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'll take responsibility for that. Um, you know, they, they, our big guys have to be much tougher. You know, it, it, that's my biggest pet, pet peeve with big guys is getting the ball knocked out of their hands. And that happened far too often on rebounds, uh, in the lane, you know, post-ups, whatever the case may be. Like, I, I don't know what we got to do to get better at it, but we'll figure it out. But that's that's got to drastically improve. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.